Okay. Good evening, everybody. Uh, it is the first Monday of December. Kind of freaking out. Can't believe it. Um, I'm really going to get right into the training, but I have one thing I want to talk to you guys about. I asked our new Pro 6, Rich Scott, to be on tonight because he was at a entrepreneurship training in San Diego this weekend when he was texting Sean and Michelle and I consistently and the information he was getting, I could tell like he said he couldn't take enough notes fast enough. And I just really wanted him to bring that back because that's the greatest gift we can give, right? Is to hear it, write it, and then teach it. It's a great way to absorb it for ourselves. But one quick thing I wanted to bring to your attention when I was watching Everett Schilling just now, he did more of a training than an opportunity presentation. But one thing he said, he of course talked about how on a monthly basis, you should do at least 15 presentations. And in the beginning, he was doing 15 a week. But he said, when you do those presentations and when you send out that ABC report, it's not just sending out the report, it's the way in which you present the report. And today, I got my new planner in the mail. And I was ecstatic to get this, right? Because I have all this stuff I need to be, this is the time of year where you're planning for the new year and you have nothing to put it on, right? Except sticky notes. So I was so excited to get it. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for coming on. Um, so it came in this beautiful Tiffany blue box, right? So excited. I opened the box. And the box inside is lined with gold and cream and it's um, a, a vertical print and it says your daily designer. And then the planner itself is not just sitting there. Then the planner is in a white box with a little tab and I pull the tab out and it's like in its own little drawer. And then it's, it's wrapped in like this beautiful wrap and then it's also in bubble wrap. Right, like it was presented so beautifully. Like I just, my designer, my daily designer, and I cherished it so much because of the way it was presented to me. So imagine if I'm sitting with someone and they're sharing with me their health story, and I show them this ball of protanum is going to help you change your life. Like you should really take a look at this versus. I believe with all my heart, right? Both of my hands are holding this bottle as I present this. I believe with all my heart that this little bottle could change your life, right? Think of the difference in the mindset of the person that you're speaking to. So when he said the way in which you present it, that really stuck with me. It made me think of my planner and the way that we present this to people. If we just say, I'm going to shoot you a video and we don't set it up properly, we're disregarding, we're degrading the value that that ABC report holds. Um, if you just came on, if you could mute yourself, I would greatly appreciate it. Some of you, I'm unable to mute. So if you just came onto the call, if you can mute yourself, that would be awesome. Thank you so much. Um, but the way in which, but if we say instead, I'm going to shoot you an ABC report, we say, I have something in my hands, it's an ABC investigative report, and I believe that every man, woman, and child on planet Earth should know about this. I'm going to send this to you shortly, but it's important that I know when you watch it, you're going to have questions versus I'm going to shoot you this and let me know when you watch it, right? There's a huge difference and there's a huge difference in the way we're setting that up for the person that's going to see it. Add value to everything that you present to that person. Use two hands, use love, use big words in the way in which you say you're going to send it. So I just wanted to give you that trigger, that note, because I thought it was really important. Okay, so I'm gonna throw it over to Rich Scott. I'm so excited to hear the content that he's going to share with us tonight. Um, I, I can't even tell you all of what it is, but Rich, I know you were so jacked about your weekend, sat next to Haley Hobson, one of the top distributors in doTERRA. Okay, sorry, I'm taking it away already. Okay, go. <laughs> no, don't tell the name. I don't want anybody Googling her then trying to prospect her. No, oh. I'm, just I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Um, no, you're so right. I love what you just said. You know, the, the expression is you never get a second chance to make a first impression. Sarah's 
uh, sister and our brother, her brother-in-law lives in Tokyo. And the Japanese are really good about presentation, everything that they have. And when you get it, you do feel that like, oh, ooh, you know, and we know we have our hands on something amazing, but you have to remember it. It's the first time they've seen it. And they, how many people have seen our product? Like, oh yeah, I take that. Oh, oh yeah, I, I, I have that. I have an ant. No, they don't know what they don't know. And so I love what Tanya said. I mean, you need to be intentional about how you share the message that you have. So, uh, yeah, Tanya just said, I just got back from San Diego. I left 73 degrees and blue skies to Oregon. That's low clouds, cold, not so good. Yeah, I would have, I would have probably loved to stay down there. Um, yes, we hit Pro 6, and uh, as you all know, we, you, you never get anywhere without your team. I, uh, Candy, it is good to see your face. Holly. Nick and Jen, Gary, you were there, you little stinker. You turned off your camera. Bev, all I can see some faces in here, and it's always nice to see your guys' faces. Colleen, I saw your tree. <laughs> anyway, guys, listen. I was down in San Diego, and I am so blessed to finally be with a company that is awesome, respects you for who, for the talent that you have. And for me, it was almost like finding another life vantage in a sense, someone that you can align yourself with. And so the company paid, paid me to go down and learn this stuff. And, I, and if you saw my Facebook post, I was very intentional about saying who I was with. And if you're interested in learning some of my nuggets, um, just remember what the quote was, Candy? Hook me up, Rich, right? I said that, I said, hook me up. And the last time I checked, I had 66 comments. I haven't checked all day today because I've been busy. But that right there is a prime example of how I set you all up with a very strategic post, social credibility because I was with the person who gave, conducted the training and I got people to be interested in what, did I tell you anything other than I was gonna give share some nuggets? No, you had specific value that you know, because people are always asking one thing, whether it's life advantage or whatever it is, they're asking one question. What's in it for me? Like, because at the end of this, you're, the only reason why you're on this call is maybe Rich might actually say one thing that I could use in my business. Hopefully there's more than just one. But the point is you're here for yourself, right? Give me a head nod if you're here for yourself and you're not here for me. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, but here's the thing, you guys. So I'm going to I'm gonna give you a couple of statistics that blew my <laughs> – thanks, Jeanette. I appreciate you. <laughs> You're cracking me up. <laughs> oh, I could say so much right now, but I'm not going to go there. Uh, it's funny. Uh, you cracked me up. All right, so. <laughs> moving you know that, on, people, moving on. You know, listen to me. Do you know that five people join Facebook every second? Every second, five people join Facebook. And millions and millions, and you know, I don't need to tell you all the statistics. You could just Google and, and find all these statistics. But there is a very specific reason why I am excited. Um, I got the benefit of going to a VIP dinner, and I got to go around with people that are on all kinds of different types of businesses. It wasn't, this was not a network marketing business. And the reason why I say that is, Sometimes network marketers uh, communicate in such a way that's kind of their own way. It was neat to see artists, singers, uh, all kinds of different types of entrepreneurs. It was called the entrepreneur experience. And basically, whether you're a network marketer or you're some other, you all have one problem. How do I let the world know I freaking exist, right? And so that's the big problem that these people had. And so they gave us some really good tips. Um, I should let you know that your organic posts, so there's a difference between, if you ever look at a post, you're going to see a line that's uh, one color, and then you're going to see another line that's longer per, if you're paying for uh, posts. You have a thing called organic reach, and you have a thing called paid reach. I'm just going to let you guys all know, 
that Facebook does not give a crap about your business. What they give a crap about is making b -b -b billions of dollars selling advertisements. So the organic reach of Facebook has significantly dropped. In fact, did you know that it used organic posts used to reach about 16%. Now they're, they only reach about 2%. So Facebook is strategically fig figured out how they can make money and they're doing it through sponsored ads. So one of the trainings that I went through is, well, how do you do it? How do you not just dump money in a hole and hope you're going to get something out there? And there's way too much to tell you. Um, but if you have interest and I am hooking you, not because I want to get anything from you because I will do this for free because we're, we're a family. I need to, I want to help as many people as I can, but I want to, I want to take the data and not in a derogatory sense, but I want to dumb it down in a sense. How, what's a better way to say that? Just basically make it palatable. Like, okay, I get that. Right. Because they talked about algorithms and they talked about all this stuff that is important, but let's just, how do I actually do that? And that's one of the things I really want to do. Um, but let me just give you some really, really powerful tips. Um, how many of you guys realize anytime you, you, you post a picture of yourself and you've got a bazillion apps out there to get rid of the bags, to change my eye color to blue. I mean, everybody's doing that. And what they're, what, and this may seem like a no brainer, but people are actually sick and tired of seeing the polished version of you. So one of the things that Amy does is she does purposely does videos with no makeup on. She purposely makes sure her dog's like in the background running around and doing stuff. She's showing what's called authentic. She's being authentic and real. And so Facebook, Brian and I, my brother and I talked a lot about this. Facebook's goal is actually to get rid of text as much as possible in the future. You're going to see lots and lots of less text and more video. That's why right now the best thing you guys could ever do is go Facebook Live. And the, and the longer you're on, with the more social engagement, people actually commenting, the more viral your posts go. So before you can get to that, let me give you a couple of tips. And some of these are gonna be like, well, this, of course, this is no brainer, but I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be truthful. It's usually the no brainer things that mess us up. Uh, number one is, uh, this goes without saying, be professional, right? If you're not the same person that you're posting, uh, when you're posting your opportunity and stuff like that, and then now you're posting some derogatory thing like uh, about your friend, you know what I'm saying, I don't even need to go in there, then you're not, you're not the same person. Because they were talking about how people, when they, they uh, cyber stalk you in the way that they see something that they like, but before people even engage you, they scroll through your feed, not their timeline, but your feed. And what they're looking for is consistency. Does this, is this really how this person is? Or are they just trying to advertise to me like a car salesman? So they're looking for consistency. And so, in fact, even employers, before they'll even do an interview, they'll find you on Facebook. And if you're a drama llama, you ain't getting the job. That's, that's just the way it is. So you definitely want to be uh, professional. Now, the next thing I want to lead into is how do you be professional but not have your brother-in-law who posts every stupid thing in the world and it like, makes you look bad. So in your security settings, you want to be smart. And so what you want to do is you want to make sure your posts are public, but you want to make sure that anything – that is on your timeline that tags you in any way that you have to review it before it posts. And I can't go through all, you know, where it's at, where it's, just go into your settings basically. And you can, you can say, listen, only I can approve what goes on my timeline. That's a good way to fix some stuff. Um, you know, I don't need to tell you this, you know, we want to stay away from politics as much as possible, unless that's your bet. Unless you're like, hey, listen, this is what I'm for. And if you don't like it, that's too bad, which leads to a very good thing is if you are adamantly about one thing, then go for it. Be who you are. If you're adamantly about cross-stitch or crocheting, 
I mean, truly, that's not being mean. It's just saying if that's you, that is what you need to go for. And we call it your avatar. Now, I mean, you guys seen the movie Avatar. The guy got in the dude's body and then he, that yeah, was a great movie. I loved it for the graphics. But he got inside that guy because it was, it, the avatar connected him. Long story short, ask yourself, who is your avatar? Sean and Michelle have been talking about this for a little while. Who is your target? Who is your customer? And that's a great question to ask. We all say, well, everybody, if you're breathing oxygen, you need per tandem. Well, that's true. But let's be honest, you don't need everybody to build a successful business. In fact, write this down. Write this down. A thousand true fans. There's a paper that was written and it talked about how you could actually make a lot of money if you just had 10, or excuse me, 1,000 true followers. 1,000 people that say, anytime Candy posts, oh, oh my gosh, I have to see it. I have to read it because she is all that and a bag of Dorito chips. I have to see it. That's right. Yes, yes. You too, Adam. So the point is, is that's right. And with a snap. Okay. So the point is, be authentic. Getting back to being authentic, what is your authentic self? And I do mean this sincerely. If crocheting is your thing, you better own it and you better own it big time. Everything you talk about should be like, oh my gosh, I crochet 12 hours a day and I was never able to do that until I found freedom as an entrepreneur. And everybody's like crocheting like, whoa, I want to crochet for 12 hours a day. How, how do I do that? That's, that's your bent. That's your avatar. You need to find out what makes you light up in the morning and makes you hit the floor saying, I can't wait to do that because that ladies and gentlemen is your brand and I, the best analogy I ever heard this company life advantage is going to be around for a long 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 time but let's say hypothetically we got shut down somehow let me ask you everybody that knows you right now and you found something else whatever that is how are they going to follow you because if all you talk about is life vantage that's all they know you for. They don't know you as the crocheter, passionate crocheter that does, you know, they don't know you as that person. So the best analogy, if you move to a new house, do you take your furniture with you or do you buy all new stuff? Do you get rid of all of your photo albums and stuff like that? Or do you take them with you? So your building is your business that you're in right now. The inside, the furniture is your emails, your database, the people that follow you. And the reason why, you know, people like Rachel Jackson can come into Life Antigen, but blow it up is because they followed her and not necessarily her company. Now, the beauty thing is we have an amazing company. It's not going anywhere. But at the end of the day, you want people to build a relationship with you, not just your product, not just the products alone. Does that make sense? If so, shake your head. Okay. Three people are excited. Okay. Gotcha. No, just kidding. So don't, don't, I, I thank you, Jeanette. I appreciate you taking the effort to unvideo us yourself. All right. So moving forward, know, know your avatar. Please know your avatar. It doesn't matter what it is. And here's the thing you have to be willing to accept. Now, this is hard. I don't give a crap about crochet. I mean, I'll wear some of the stuff, but I don't, <laughs> Tanya's crying. But that's okay, guys, because the, I told you, Google a thousand true fans and you're going to find people that love it. And that's what you want. You want those people. And uh, so don't worry about people that don't like crocheting. Okay. A couple great things is, uh, you know, no whining and complaining on your timeline. That's a huge thing. Uh, please do not do this. This pisses people off more than anything. And it's happened to me a lot. Somebody posts something and they tag 48 people. You're like, what the front door? I, I, that's not what I'm about. So you can, so tag yourself. If you tag somebody, make sure it's, they know and they're okay with it. But you can avoid that by what? Nothing gets posted unless I approve it. So now you're like, I don't think so. I don't think so. I, you know what I'm saying, okay? So. A couple of no-brainers is ask, what does your profile picture look like? I can't tell you how many people send me a friend request 
and it's an empty profile or it's a picture of some stupid dog or, you know, you may love your dog, but I don't, I don't care about your dumb dog. I want to know who you are. So you need a good photo about this close. I know it's too close for some of you, but the point is they need to see, yeah, Tanya, there you go. It need, they need to see who you are. And, and when you start, yeah, that's good too. Yeah, I like that. The point is they need to know who you are. And if they don't know who you are, they're not going to, your, your chances of friend requesting, accept it, people accepting it is not going to happen. Okay. Another great thing they talked about is, and, and, I, and this has been shared before, be intentional about your likes. I mean, don't just go like, 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 like. Think about the content that you're liking. Think about the person that, you know, you want a friend request. Um, you know, look through their timeline and be intentional about liking. At the end of the day, you guys, this is really about relationships, right? So another great thing is when someone likes your comment or even more importantly, comments on something that you posted, do you know that when you comment below or reply, that moves your post to the top of the algorithm and swipes it back through? So by you engaging your audience, that gets you more organic reach and feed. So be very intentional about doing that. Um, I, think some, I think Sean Poe talked about this, or somebody did. How many times you get a message that says, you know, Jamie Barnes' birthday's today? That's your indication to talk to them. And one, you could take it a next step further. If you know the person, send them an actual audio recording. Hey, just want to say, hey, happy birthday, whatever it is, right? So that's really, 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 really good. Also, remember never just to post something with just text. Always put a picture there. Something, anything, because that creates more. Uh, one thing is Facebook's afraid of is bots. Bots are automatic posting services, things like that, trying to get uh, traction that's not real organic. So you, it takes a little bit longer to actually post a picture and stuff like that. So they want that. Okay. Timing is everything. I'll tell you a little tip. More traction on your Facebook posts are done on Friday. They showed this spike Monday through and then Friday's like, boom, like everybody, maybe it's the weekend, TGI, baby, we're out of here. We're going to go party like you know, it's 1995 or 1999 or whatever that song was. I, I'm too young to remember that song. So anyway, <laughs> stop, <laughs> whatever. Uh, be it an interesting and informative. If your posts are always about, hey, I got the greatest product in the world. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's awesome. Okay, that's good for a little while, but after a while, it's like, <clears throat> so be interesting. Be engaging. Uh, you know, take the physique shake and put the strawberries out and just in the background, put the product that's almost faded out where you can't see it, and whatever. Just be creative and be informative. That is really, really good. So you don't just say, hey, I just made this cool shake. You know, add some stuff to it. Be, make it something that people will be like, oh, that is pretty cool, all right? So I want to do, and if you have interest at all, I mean this truly seriously, I'm going to, I have three courses that I got, I, the, the company I work for paid for. So I got totally hooked up. Number one course is courses that convert. Okay. If you want to get social engagement, here's something that I would encourage, whatever you're good at. And I truly mean, whatever it is, you can easily create a, you know, a, a free giveaway. Here's 10 things that I blah, blah, blah about crap, you know, whatever it is you do. And you just give it away. If you want that, um, I'll give it to you. What do you get when somebody does that? An email address. And one of the things that Haley did about her website is her website isn't about her network marketing company. It's just about her and what she does. And she has a couple of things that she's passionate about. And she said that she just leads with who she is as a person and people automatically or organically find out what she does and say, wow, I really like this person. I wonder what she does and before it just kind of naturally goes that way and it's almost feels counterintuitive it's like man I feel like I'm I just need to let them know what I've got well that may be true but they're not going to feel good about that process that's like walking to one on a walking on a Carla and you know the guy just wants to sell you a car he doesn't give a rip about anything about you, you just got to make his quota people don't want to feel like that so they want to feel that process 
And I, if there's one thing that she really drove into us is about being authentic and raw. And, and Facebook lives have that way of making you be that person because there's no redo. You can't, Oh, take 10. I'll, I'll redo that. And that to me, unfortunately was a big fat punch in the face because I got to be professional and that, no, nobody likes that. They want you to, is that really you? And so that was a big wake up call for me. So that was number one. There's another one that I think will really benefit you guys. Uh, once I dig into it, it's actually, how do you get leads? Um, one of the things that Haley talked about is she has a system that she uses and she uses some of the stuff that we learned, how to narrow a hundred people down to like 20 because you don't have time to talk to a hundred people. But what if you can make them feel in, engaged in such a way that they know a little bit about you and then you can reach out to those 20 people but still connect to the, the other 80 when it's their 12 o'clock. And so that was, I think that's something that's really, really powerful. But it all goes back. You can't just start on letter Z when you haven't fi figured out letter A, what is your avatar? And so you really need to figure that out and it takes some time to figure out what it is that you can be 100% passionate about. They talked about, you can't just be passionate about it, but you actually have to be able to speak with somewhat of credibility and passion and knowledge. You know, if I wanted to talk about farming, I know you plant the seed and you walk. Yeah, I don't know nothing about that, but so that wouldn't work for me. So that, I know these seem like, oh, you know, this is elementary, but you believe it, believe it or not, the internet is full of people that make the rest of us who are trying to do it right look bad. And it makes the industry really tough. So if you're the one that's doing it right, you have to remember it, it's not a quick fix. It's the long play. Like in, I mean, I didn't hit pro six in November. I hit pro six three months ago when we were doing, committed to do a meeting every Wednesday, rain or shine and on and on and on, all those things that you know. And all of you working your business, that was a result of some momentum. And so this is kind of the same thing. Consistency is crucial. And if you're not consistent, you might as well not, don't do it at all because you're actually sending mixed messages and stuff like that. So I've been yapping for a little bit, Tanya. Um, but I'm just really excited because the world is moving. Everybody has this in their hand. Everybody, maybe not this, this better technology called an iPhone, but everybody's got something like this in their hand. And if you can connect with them, then um, you're going to be leaps and bounds uh, ahead of anybody else. And so if you start down this path, know that it's a long play. And you'll be glad you did in three months when, when people are actually asking you, tell me what it is you do. I've been watching you in the background, and now I'm ready to ask you a question. So don't be discouraged if you try it for a month or two and don't get much traction. It takes a little bit to start building it up, but once you do, you'll be glad you did. Um, you know what I want to say, too, is <clears throat> so it was probably, you know, maybe almost a year ago that I invested into a system to help me start developing leads. But at that time, I did not know my avatar. I was really forcing it and it did not feel comfortable. It did not, it felt very um, robotic and I didn't like how that felt. Um, I knew that I wanted like my ads and the way I attracted people to be very organic, very me, very real, because I knew I just wanted to help others that had been where I'd been. And I kind of backed off for a while and then you know, ups and downs in your life. And I got to tell you guys again, like those hardships and those trials are there to grow you. Okay. If you take your hardships and trials and you say, okay, I'm out of it. Like I'm not meant for this. You are so wrong. It is God's way of testing you. He's going to give you more than you can handle. I'm sorry to tell you, but he is because he knows what you're worth, he knows what you're capable of, and he wants to see you rise to the occasion and see you grow so that you can become that person you're meant to be. And through those hardships, like, I know my avatar today. I know the audience I want to attract. And Rich, the one thing that you said that helped me so much tonight is when you talked about a thousand 
raving fans, you know, because you see people like Tara and Rachel and all those other mentors in network marketing that we follow, and they have tens, sometimes hundreds of thousands of followers, and they talk about that. And sometimes that gets the best of us. And then we allow that to define us. How many people liked it? How many people commented? And if enough people didn't, I failed. Social media doesn't define you. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of opinions. There's a lot of things out there. People sometimes teach different ways on social media, but there's also a lot of factual data. So take from it what, um, what affects you. Don't let it overwhelm you. Sometimes it means a slow burn. Sometimes it means a little at a time. Doing a Facebook Live, I still get nervous. My heart races. That countdown drives me nuts because it's just like, it makes you so nervous. But I was thinking that same thing just today. Like, it's just so, like, I don't have the special lighting in my office, right? Obviously, I look like a green person. But I think that's okay because we want to attract the people that feel like anybody can do this. You don't have to have a thousand dollars set up in your office to attract people or make a business work. It's just about your story and your heart and reaching those thousand people that no matter what you're doing, no matter where you are, they want to hear from just you because it's just your story that attracts them. And there are enough people in this world for every single one of us to find those thousand people. Okay. What did you say? Five, how many people a day start now go to Facebook, but there's 2 billion people on Facebook, 2 billion. There's enough to go around everybody. We can all have our own avatar and there's enough for all of us. So that's my two cents. I just thought that was amazing information, Rich. Anybody else have anything? Let me look at the chats here. Um, Anybody have any questions on anything? Because I didn't cover very much at all, to be honest with you. <laughs> Nick and Jen, you don't need special lighting. You guys are too cute. Don't, yeah, you guys are good. You don't need special lighting. <laughs> You're so cute just right now the way you are. <laughs> I throw one more thing out. I think that would be really good. Is the third course, I told you the first two, was webinar or uh, courses that convert leads. And there's a third one called webinars. And, and I, I this is me personally, I'm excited about doing is how, I mean, if you could send somebody to in a pre-recorded webinar that could basically walk them through the opportunity, that's a, that's a way to sort, right? Mm -hmm. And so on your Facebook, on your Facebook timeline, there's a way for, well, first let me re rewind. If I go to your Facebook profile and it says where you work, what, what will it lead me to? Number one, is it your current place of employment? And by I mean that, I mean life advantage because that's where you want people to go. If you work at, you know, if you're a school teacher, okay, they'll know you work at a school. I'm talking about your business. So your current employment can be an actual link to your opportunity. And that's one thing they really taught about. So if you were to, and it's not on mine yet because I still got to do it, but, and it doesn't have to say life advantage, by the way. It could say Jeanette Palmer, and when you click on it, it's a little pop-up, and it talks a little bit about, and it could lead them to wherever you want them to, to learn more. Because they were saying, statistically, people, people click that, and they kind of want to know, okay, well, what did this person do? And that's a good way to find out. And what I would recommend is not send them just to some video, because then you'd be like, well, how do I know? How do I know if they clicked it? You could lead them to a short page that says, hey, we're the so-and-so family and, you know, thanks for stopping by. And it, maybe it's a two-minute video about who you are and what you're passionate about. Your, about. And you have to be talking about what you're passionate about when it comes to your avatar. So when they click that, guess what? If you want to know more about us or what we're doing, put your email below. and we'll, You know, whatever. You can create a funnel process by which you can start sorting people. And that, so that's one thing that you can do. Um, and I thought that was pretty awesome because that's a way to get leads without even really prospecting. Because at some point, what does Jim Rohn always say? Success is not something you pursue. It's something you attract by becoming an attractive person. So you be the person you are, stay where you are. And as people begin to find, see your videos or see your lives, 
they're going to click on, okay, what is, what does this person do exactly? Oh, yeah, I want to know more about that. Maybe you could, at that point, you can offer something free. Hey, thanks for coming by. One of the things I do when we meet people is I give them this, whatever that is, right? It's your avatar. And they put their information in to get that free thing. And now they're in your pipeline where you can slowly add value. Gary Vandercheck, how many of you guys know who Gary, Gary V, v is? Jab, jab, hook. Value, 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 offer. And it's reciprocity. Give, 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 ask. Give more than you ask. And that was one little tip that they shared with us to get leads. And it just, it's always out there for you. And it works for you even when you're sleeping. I love it. Great information. So let's clarify, Rich. We don't want anyone putting on where they work to have the biohacking your body link. No, yeah, absolutely not. If, if at any time they can go to that and they can learn about something without being connected to you, that's a bad idea. You right. need to be able to connect with them, yeah. Jeanette raised her hand, she had a question. I raised my hand. So um, could we attach that to a group? So not necessarily like a blog or a um, website, but maybe to like, a separate group that has on Facebook that has just a little bit about your life and hey, I'm a you know social influencer or I you know do this this and this or you know what I'm saying like kind of talking more along the lines because they're looking to find out what you do yeah. but you obviously don't want to tell them what you do. I love that. That's a really yeah. good idea. Absolutely, yeah, that would work really well. Do you mean like your personal business page, Jeanette? Is that what you're no. saying? No. no, like, so like, uh, Nadia and John, uh, or is it John? Yeah, Nadia. They talk about a lot about how videos are everything. And I love that you said that because it is. Everything we heard at GoPro was like videos, videos, videos. You should be doing lives because Facebook is getting away from doing just the posts. So, but they talk a lot about like, they built their entire business doing live videos. So when you do these live videos, you know, you want to talk about your life and what you're doing. So, but then on top of that, they bring people into them and then they funnel them into groups and those groups are categories. So maybe someone who's just maybe interested more in like, um, something they talked about maybe health wise. And so they kind of funnel them into maybe product type stuff, but they don't necessarily put them right into product. They just talk about more health and fitness. And then maybe they're talking more about like business and finance and they kind of funnel it into another group. And so like if there's an, a group that if someone's going to click on and find out about your life and your finances, you want to be able to have a group that they can click on. And that's going to be a little bit more about like entrepreneurship, um, in, you know, attraction marketing, social influencers, you know, different things like that. So I just didn't know if there's a way that you could actually link it that way under mine just says I'm an, I don't remember what it says, but it doesn't say life manage. If it says life manage, you should slap your hand. It shouldn't say that. Yeah. So you, you can put a company in. The first thing it's going to try to find, is this a real company? Right? Because you've seen that before. But if you start typing in a group that you've already created and you start typing, it'll, it'll should show up on the bottom and you can, you, can, you can link it up that way. I think that's a great idea, especially if you want to target people to a certain place like Jeanette saying, that's a great idea. Yep. So in the description of who you are, you could have like, for instance, the Healthy Quest page that they could click on. It's not in the description, it's what you do. What it's, you do. Because it's at the very top and it's very important that you check it's current. Mm -hmm. it, currently does this like Jeanette saying or any website you could that can be a linkable thing to send somebody somewhere okay so it's like your job yeah, yeah. So people have like 10 jobs listed the only thing with healthy quest is instantly they get in there and it's going to be about life planning mm -hmm. yeah I thought you were and I love what you said Jeanette because it could be a private group and they can say oh yeah I want to join that and now you know who they are and they want to join and now you can create that relationship. And you guys too, making a two to five minute video of you and your story and who you are and what you represent, 
that is a very easy thing to download to YouTube and create a link that way. So um, it's something you could Google and you'll find out how to do it very short. If I can figure it out, you can figure it out, okay? Um, but that's another thing you could do as well, so. And I think just make sure that that video is unlisted so that way it, 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 they have to, you have to have the link in order to see it. That'll keep you uh, more private until you're ready to use it somewhere. Sorry. Okay. I have a question on those. So can you actually make each video separate? So like you don't, your, your YouTube account doesn't have to just be completely unlisted. So I could do like a video and that video is unlisted, but the next video is private or um, public and the next video is private just for my team. Correct. All on the same YouTube channel. Yep. I don't have to make separate. Yeah, no, it, okay. the videos have three choices, public, private, or unlisted. Okay, perfect. Yep. All right, Rafa and Angel, it's so fun to see you guys on tonight. I appreciate you guys coming on. Hi, guys. Okay, and then I just wanted to remind you guys really quickly, um, this sat, well, tomorrow night's going to be a great webinar. So Dr. Sveta, always so full of passion. I think she's, you can kind of pretty much understand what she's saying word for word. And then Grant Diplo, they just became a pro five, an amazing couple, millennial couple, so well-spoken, um, amazing people. So that opportunity presentation tomorrow night is going to be great. So I really suggest using that as a tool tomorrow night to expose this to people. And then Saturday morning, is the Virtual Life Vantage Academy. I think it's so great that our organization is doing that. They said it's probably gonna be about two hours. So I would suggest don't just watch it alone. Get together with people, have notes, you know, bring some snacks, do whatever you wanna do here in this area. We're gonna have a Christmas party Friday night. I'm gonna stay the night in Weezer and then we're gonna have a Life Vantage Academy virtual thing Saturday morning. So I think that'll be so much fun. So. Find people you can connect with to do that. Um, and if you can't, cozy up, have some hot chocolate or coffee, and just make sure you plug into that. That's going to be so good. We can never, ever get enough of the basics. So I cannot wait to get this recording out to everybody. I appreciate you guys coming on. Thank you so much. Um, anyone have any questions before we roll out? No, oh, look at look at all the recent Chris and all the kiddos. Okay, love you guys. Oh, I'm holding Doris and Chris's puppy. Oh, <laughs> one of their puppies.